Jake Paul is all set to box against Mike Tyson this July, but the rules in this fight are absolutely absurd. Even at almost 60 years old, Tyson would absolutely dominate Jake Paul, so they had to adjust the rules to make this a somewhat fair fight. First rule is for Paul's own safety. He'll be able to wear headgear like an amateur boxer, but Tyson won't be wearing any of that. That gives Paul a chance to knock Tyson out, but with his headgear, Jake Paul won't get knocked out and won't get badly injured. The second rule is that Jake is allowed to tag team with his brother Logan Paul, but tag team isn't even the correct way of describing it, despite that being what the contract says, because he'll be able to bring Logan in, and they'll both be able to fight at the same time. For the sake of his ego, I think Jake wants to win this by himself, so I don't think he'll be tagging in Logan unless he feels like he needs it, but technically, it could be a 2-1 fight from the opening bell. And the last rule is kind of a two for one. This states that there won't be a weigh-in for Jake. This fight is supposed to be fought at 165, meaning Tyson will need to pass this weigh-in, but Jake Paul won't weigh in, so he could be as heavy as he wants to be. And the second part of this rule is it also won't be drug tested, but again, only for Jake. So if you're keeping track, Jake will be able to fight on any performance enhancing drugs he wants to against Mike Tyson with his brother while not getting punched in the face. And by the way, Mike Tyson is still the favorite in this fight.